first start, full 90 minutes and a goal. How does kind of, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Like at first I was a little nervous, but I knew Kim was going to keep, like the whole back line was going to keep me intact and keep me connected with him. And it was just amazing. Alluded there at the end for a, a left-footed volley score. Uh, tell us about the goal. Um, Jordan Pollock played a fantastic ball in, and I was just happened to be at the right place at the right time and could direct it, and it was amazing ball by her. What changed in the second half where you guys kind of turned everything around and really took control of the game? Uh, we've really been working on when we get down, we come back harder, and I, we really showed it tonight that we came back even though we were tied and we kept letting goals in, but it's fine because we came back and it was great. To you? No, I've always played center back. W were you an offensive center back? Uh, not necessarily, but on corners, I'll go up on corners. Besides that, no. I suppose good size. Uh, we talked about the header earlier in the game. Um, just kind of an attacking mentality that on set pieces, I have a good chance to score. Yes, I love set pieces. <laughs> Um, what about having fellow freshman Jordan Ginther in goal tonight? Uh, how did you guys mesh together? Uh, very well. She was talking to me the whole time and I was talking to her and it worked out perfectly and she played me great balls from the goal kicks and it was great. Five to three, obviously the fans love goals. How does that feel to you? I mean, um, I mean, our goal is to score as many goals as we can and not give up as many as we can. And so having three goals scored on us is kind of disappointing, but it's still great that we got the win big thing we've been talking about is you've got your match grip, you know what you want to have happen in a game, but what do you do when it doesn't go to plan? You've got to have a plan, but you've got to be able to respond. Really, so, you know, it was a sucker punch giving up the goal with, you know, 30 seconds left in the first half, and you're like, oh no, don't want this again. Um, but at the same time, the players responded. We went in at halftime, and we just told them all the things that they were doing well. Possession, changing the point, creating scoring opportunities. You know, I think defensively, our, our back line was organized. So, you know, to come back, fall a goal behind, put even more pressure, so to respond from that is great. And it's, it's you know, the, the best thing from a coaching standpoint is you want them to have to deal with adversity and be able to overcome it. Uh, certainly freshman played a big role today with a freshman in goal, a freshman at center back, and then a freshman scores the first goal. Newcomers making an impact. Without a doubt, you know, and we've got them coming off the bench as well. They're adding depth. You know, you've got Kayser as well playing in the outside. So, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I said to our team uh, two days ago, I was just like, you know, upperclassmen understand that our freshmen haven't been here the last two years. They don't know the mistakes we've made, the, uh, the opportunities that we haven't taken advantage of. They're just here and they're excited. So all we need from you is we've got talent in a freshman class. We need upperclassmen to lead. We need you to go out there and be the, the vocal leaders, demonstrative, and show them what they need to do because they're, they're excited to get it done. So, five goals again off the offense has been, you mentioned a dynamic. Just speaking of that, you had a lot of set pieces even went your way tonight, which has been an yeah. issue previously. So, um, you know, it goals. was, you know, you look in the first half, I thought um, like Chenye Lu Asher was picking out players accurately, opening the game up, and I really feel like the players, um, at least tonight, they, they bought into the system of what we're trying to do. And I think that element of patience that we had on the ball created opportunities for us to run, things to develop. We didn't have necessarily a sense of urgency where we just had to go behind them with our first touch. Um, and then in the second half, I think we opened them up so much in midfield, their back line had to start stepping up, and now that starts to open up space behind them. And then we started putting you know, a player like Matty William running behind or Jordan Frick overlapping and getting in as well. So being able to do both is exactly what you know as a coaching staff we're hoping they can do to solve the problems on the field. And you know, we did so. You know, certainly you know, we want to uh, reduce the goals that we give up, and once again, you know, we've got a tweaker here or there that we've got to solve. But um, you know, from a sta fan standpoint, you know, they go away happy, they get to see goals, and we win. So. Yeah, obviously turnout, huge turnout, the biggest I've seen here, so just... Yeah, it's, it's, you know, fan support, it, it's so integral because when, you, when you've got those moments of low intensity or when you start to question, just having you know, the, the players that are on the bench vocally supporting you and the, the fans, and they, and they create that enjoyment, you know, that excitement. So when you do score a goal, it's, it's something bigger than yourself.